welcome to uh, what I eat in a day on my rest and recovery days. I haven't done a video like this before. We just do a regular full day of eating, but I thought it would be really cool to do a full day of eating on what I do personally on my rest and recovery days. I'm currently taking three rest and recovery days throughout the week and the other days I'm doing my strength training and cardio and thought it would be good a good topic to talk about what you should, shouldn't do on your rest and recovery days. First, should you eat the same exact macros that you do on a regular day? So right now the macros you're gonna see throughout the day, I am set to a 13% deficit doing high protein, doing the anabolic diet, Diet, doing low carb. Should I or should I not eat those 13% deficit macros because they are also set at me being super active? So on a rest day or recovery day, obviously I'm not going to be hitting my steps. I'm actually taking the day to recover and rest. So tomorrow is leg day for me. I can go into leg day and freaking slay it. So I had the misconception myself as of recently that, you know, on my rest and recovery days, I don't need to hit that specific caloric intake because I'm not moving my body as much. I don't need to. I can go about 300, 400 calories less than that and be good to go because I'm not moving. You're not going to burn any more fat. You're not going to lose any more weight if you eat really low under your allotted calories on your rest days. You're actually doing yourself a disservice. You need to eat. You need to eat nutritious foods. You need to fuel your body, get those glycogen stores back up. So that way, when you do get back into the gym, you're still not feeling dusted and toasted. You're going in feeling more energized. You have all the glycogen ready to go when you're hitting the cardio, when you're lifting heavy. That is what's going to benefit you. And it helps the muscle repair, muscle grow. If you're looking to gain muscle, if you are not eating, if you're not fueling that tank, like I say all the time on a regular day, rest and recovery days are most important for you to hit that caloric intake as well. So yes, I'm going to be eating just like I would on a regular normal training day as far as my macros and my calories go. Slept in a little bit. You want to make sure you're getting enough sleep per night. I don't always as well, guys. I have two young boys, one of which who has autism. So I totally get it out there that you can't always get the rest that you need. Tomorrow for leg day, I'm getting up and doing a 3 a.m. workout and hitting it because I've got to take the boys to the store and go get things for back to school and all the mom life stuff. So I totally get it. So as y'all saw, breakfast this morning was fire. Those are the Thomas bagel thins. They're 110 calories. They have the everything in the plane. We did the everything this morning, put them in the toaster like you saw me do, and they crisp up perfectly. Avocado, cottage cheese. We did a little American cheese on there. Melted is a must. Canadian bacon and egg whites are freaking fire. Like a breakfast sandwich is where it is at with some strawberries on the side. I mean, you can't get more nutritious and clean than that. Our coffee was a nitro cold brew and I've been adding either the Alani new shakes or the premier protein or quest. And I'm not even doing a whole shake as you guys saw 126 milliliters or grams. Put it in there with some ice cinnamon. So freaking fire. That premier cinnamon one is awesome. I tried another one and wasn't a fan of it. I love the Quest vanilla, as you guys know, and the Alani new vanilla and cookies and cream is spot on. So that was a great breakfast. We're going to do a, a beast mode breakfast theme for lunch as well. And then we've got all kinds of yummy snacks and dinners and everything else along the way. 12 11 we are getting lunch ready or brunch if you want to call it because i'm eating breakfast for lunch i could eat breakfast for breakfast lunch dinner snack i absolutely love it delicious we've got 250 grams of liquid egg whites one whole egg mixed in there and a ton of everything but the bagel seasoning i'm going to put a lid on this let it do its thing and make a big ass omelet and then over here, I've got my griddle ready because we're making anabolic French toast without protein powder. So super easy. So all you need for the anabolic French toast, 230 grams of liquid egg white, about five to seven grams of your sugar-free sweetener. I'm using the Lacanto monk fruit. Let's do a teaspoon of this maple extract because it gives it that French toast maple flavor. So fire. I'm going to dip my bread in here. Weighed up 105 grams of these frozen blueberries. So I am going to put the blueberries straight up on the pan right now and go ahead and put the heat on. And then as I dip my bread, I'm going to place it right on top of the berries because they're going to burst and get soft and like sink into the bread. Four pieces of bread. I like the nature's own life honey wheat keto friendly bread, 40 calories a slice macros on point, high protein, low fat. Love this stuff. 
learned this blueberry and of course the anabolic french toast from our none other than greg doucette he likes to put his berries on here and just plop it in it doesn't look pretty but it tastes damn good and i'm here for it omelets looking perfect we've got the french toast on here on top of the berries like i said just gonna let them hang out i'm gonna turn the heat up we're gonna flip it over you might flip it over with some berries intact or not but we can add the berries on top afterwards so 12 30 lunch is done anabolic french toast like i said it might not look picture perfect but it is damn good with all the blueberries like infused in the bread and what was left over we put on top we did a little bit of the lacanto powdered sugar on top and then i'm gonna top mine with the walden farms pancake syrup most of you guys know that's my choice of pancake syrup love it and it's zero everything our omelet didn't come out as well either, but we topped it with three pieces of Canadian bacon. We've got 55 grams of avocado for our good fat source there, topped with some more everything but the bagel seasoning, and I love the Siete hot sauce. It is legit zero everything and good ingredients. Almost done with my half gallon. I fill that up to the very brim, so it's actually more than a half gallon. I make sure to get one of those in per day with my hydro jug. Always have a link for hydro jug link down below. And then I just cracked open a purple guava pear bang. I do one bang per day. So this entire plate, all of this, y'all, 658 calories, 42 net carbs, and chocked with protein from all the egg whites. Let's get it. That was absolutely delicious. And if you are brand new here, yes, the girl eats all the food. I have a big appetite, always have been. That's why I was 230 pounds for so long of my life and overweight. And that has not gone away. We're just using the right type of foods now to fuel our body. And food is now a tool and now fuel for making our body do what it needs to do on a regular basis. That anabolic French toast in your life. So easy. So so good. Almost 2.30. It is our snack time of the day of getting all the things done and have all of, like the back to school things to do. Like all my moms, all my dads out there, are y'all going crazy with like tennis shoes, book bags, lunch boxes, all the things. And Waylon's actually going to the big school is what he's calling it this year. He is so flipping excited, but we're trying to get him like ready because we're used to the little school. So I'm like, my mind is going a million miles per hour as far as all that goes. And tomorrow is going to be a workout in itself because I'm taking both of them into town and we're going school shopping for school supplies, clothes, all the things. I'm going to be getting those steps in for sure. Thank God for this rest day. Our snack is a built Bar. The caramel brownie is one of my favorites. It was a limited edition flavor. So when you see it on my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, y'all. I post them as soon as they launch the new flavors or the limited releases. You need it. I'm stocking up. I'm getting like all the boxes. I might sell out just from me purchasing. Cookies and cream is in all is my number one and it's a flavor you can get year round. So get that one until you can get this one. Salted caramel is another year round one. That's really, really good. Um, the cherry one's good. I love all them. In just gets you a discount and these are fire for your journey. We've got a two good yogurt, which is just the vanilla and I've got 10 grams of the purely Elizabeth with maple almond butter is my favorite flavor one. They are all good in this line, but I love this one the most. As you can see, like half the bag's gone. And 10 grams is substantial, in my opinion. 43 calories and six net carbs for 10 grams. And then my favorite zero sugar cola or soda is the Dr. Pepper Cherry. So we're having one of those as well for an afternoon pick-me-up because I was going to take a nap, a power nap, or should I just eat my snack and keep on working and go to bed early? I think that's a better idea because we have a three a.m. morning tomorrow. So yeah, I've already convinced myself. 263 calories, 14 net carbs. Four o'clock, just have a sip left of my water that I filled up earlier and I totally forgot to take my electrolytes today and I totally can feel when I don't take my electrolytes. I start feeling a little low energy, out of steam, what's going on? Electrolytes are a must for me daily. I'm telling you guys, after I down this, I instantly feel better. Redmond's Relight is my favorite and I love all of them. The Immunity Pineapple Orange Blackberry are probably my tops and then I love Watermelon Lime and the Pina Colada are my favorites out of the regular line. In Burgess, always get you a discount. I have like all their spices. Y'all know the pre-workout is beast mode. You've got to get all that in your life. So I'm going to down this and continue on with the mom life. It never ends. Tonight's dinner, we are doing sweet potato fries as usual in the air fryer and also making some anabolic pizzas and super easy, super high protein, low fat and calorie. For the sweet potato fries, all I do is add a little bit of nonstick to them 
and then douse them with this primal kitchen or new primal i'll get both of them mixed up all the time classic barbecue seasoning you can get this from whole foods but i buy it from thrive market because it's a better deal and we fly through it use it on sweet potato fries every time cook for 20 minutes on 400 degrees and flip halfway cook a little bit longer if you want them extra crispy so this is what we got going on for our pizza night we are using the salsa texan company coconut flour big tortillas as our pizza piece these are really good and make great pizzas. And for our sauce, we're doing the Classico Roasted Garlic. Really good macros as far as cutting, low carb, all that good stuff. I've got a mixture of both the mozzarella and the cheddar fat-free cheese. And we've got some Applegate turkey bacon, spinach, mushroom sliced up. I think that's it. What I'm gonna do is pop this in the oven just for a couple minutes to let it get a little crispy, then add all of our top it's put it, toppings, put it back in, and let it all get nice and melty. These disposable pizza pan trays, I got at HEB when I went to Texas. I thought they were like genius, and I'm looking forward to see if they work. This is what my pizza is looking like before I put it in the oven. I've already made the hubbies, and reusing this tray seems like it's gonna be pretty effective, y'all. I'm excited about it. We've got some sofrito from Trader Joe's on there and also some herbs de Provence and all the other ingredients I showed you. And we're just gonna put it in the oven for about five minutes on 400. Pizza is done. I'm gonna cut it. It smells and looks amazing. We've got the sweet potato fries from the air fryer back there with two tablespoons of G Hughes ketchup for a total of 383 calories. Can y'all believe this entire pizza, all these fries with the ketchup, is less than 400 calories. I mean, talk about volume there. 40 net carbs. You do not have to eat small, small portions for the calories, guys. You can do it big. This is gonna keep you full, but you know, you know, we don't skip dessert around here. Pizza and sweet potato fries. Might seem like a weird combo to some, but don't knock it till you try it, so good. Most of you guys know that I end my night every night with protein ice cream. I'm legit obsessed. The cake batter one's my favorite, and I have a recipe on a reel on my Instagram, so definitely go and follow me over there. But I like to switch things up, and don't sleep on this PE Science peanut butter cup one either. The cake pop is my number one, but this one is fire as well. Super good, I just bought a big tub of it because I bought this little one, tried it, loved it. At the anabolic protein, ice cream with one of the fiber one just regular 70 calorie brownies on top with some whipped cream that's it so 213 calories for this massive bowl with the toppings and 10 net carbs so if you don't want to do the actual brownie that shaves off five net carbs so if you're keto and you don't do the brownie and just do the ice cream with the whipped topping it would just be five net carbs and under 200 calories for dessert. Can you believe that? Craziness. Today's rest day macros were 206 grams of protein, 47 grams of fat, 1993 calories. So we are at that 13% deficit, which I am going to lower to 10%. So we're gradually getting back to maintenance with reverse dieting and 142 net carbs for 217 total carbs. I really don't care about the carbs. I mean, I'm conscious of it, but I really care about the calories, the protein, and the fat is my main concern. And we had a great day of eating, rested, got all the things done, and ready for another day. So that's gonna do it for this full day of eating on our rest and recovery days. A low calorie, high protein, anabolic for weight loss. We have just upped our deficit to now 10% or lowered our deficit, I should say, to 10%. So I'm about around 2,000 calories now. So I am filming a what I eat in a day, a short video again on a rest day, but it's the same, like I said, for rest days, strength training days, I eat the same. So if you want to see that what I eat in a day anabolic low calorie high protein video for 2,000 calories That'll be coming out pretty soon So if you are not subscribed make sure that you have that notification bell click down below all the bells and whistles So you get notified when it goes live and if you enjoyed today's video and if it was helpful Please give it a huge thumbs up that helps me out so so much guys and it takes one second So please before you leave click that like button, please. Thank you all so much for watching today's video I hope Hope you enjoyed it like I said and I have plenty of new fresh content coming as soon as the boys get back in school and I have more time on my hands to be able to film I cannot wait 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 so many fun exciting things I'll have an amazing day awesome weekend awesome week whenever you're watching and we'll see y'all in the next video bye y'all